Okay, my friends. Look at very good at this house here. And look at very good at this house here. Uh, this is something I was told under MK Ultra you should not do. Don't do, don't do that. You will not give the location, you will not give the location because people will investigate and this and that. Tra -la -la. This is located about 15 minutes away from immigration center in Grotniki. And well, I am glad to be out of here. I have just returned all my stuff. Uh, in continuation, I will explain. Uh, it was something right now, Shark said. Something like, if you're ever gonna need something, uh, don't forget me. We are here to help you, this and that. If you will ever eat, and that your future would be nice, and it would be beautiful, and this and that. But, uh, this is the second video recording. And this is why I have taken the photo of those, I mean, the video of those two houses. Otherwise, I wouldn't on the original video. It was not. But since once was deleted, yesterday, I think, the day before yesterday, for sure, um, I didn't have a choice other than to give some payback. Well, uh, the two days ago, I told her when I returned the stuff, on Monday, today is Wednesday. Um, it's not so much, you know, about my future, it's more about my past. So, thank you, but no thank you. Uh, right next door, right here. Okay, this is a gentleman who first, when the MK Ultra started, neighbor, these people connected straight to the Warsaw, in this street, it, toward the end of the street here, like that, when we go. It might be also in the street next to there are some... It goes as far as the wife of some politician in Warsaw, either was that in already 2005-2006, that was uh, either minister, presidential chair, whatever that was, or might actually still be the case. Nevertheless, these people are straight related to Warsaw, to Kaczynski, uh, to Duda, and so on. Uh, the neighbor I have just spoken about, when the whole thing started, he was like, I'm going to help you out no matter what. And there were some other people also who swore they're going to help me out no matter what. But things changed. Um, in 2004-2005, the house... Uh, first house that I have demonstrated you. This is where two sisters live. Disabled. There were antennas. There was all kinds of stuff. It was used to transmit the signal. Whatever they were doing, they hosted people here. These people eventually had my family from Slovenia here. Um, they had politicians here. Not that they would stay here, but occasionally they would come here for a visit. Some younger they would for which prominent chairs were reserved they would stay there too uh, so all the antennas that were that was mounted on that house it all disappeared by the way these are the houses I did clean for uh, I did and it was boy is this is like a long story that I'm just gonna have to go and add some extra information about it all okay um, it's it's a really really long cluster Warsaw cluster is what this is antennas antennas is like this if okay if you would only have a photo of antennas from 2005-2006 of that house. You would have a proof about MK Ultra. Antennas were gone, taken down, removed. Uh, the gentleman over there, he actually, I think, might have even a company. This is for the people I have cleaned. A roof. Roofs. Actually, might even have a company, his own company, in Alexandro Lodzki. A roof company. 
And so, if you would only have this proof, it would be. And this neighbor, this neighbor, this is this is important because it concerns other people too. This neighbor suggested that he does have a photo, that he does have a video, that he's going to help me out. And he did last it, I think, about like this two years, like a rebel, like a rebellion uh, against this uh, establishment, uh, saying that he's got a proof, that he video recorded, he's got a right to get these politicians on camera and so on and so forth. <laughs> but you know what happened with him? He started his own business. Uh, they cut him from employment market. They make his life completely impossible. And you know whether he like it or not, whether he would want to uh, help out or not, uh, he didn't have a choice. But he did manage. Okay, he did manage to get, according to him alone, he did manage to get a little cake, a little a little slice of cake, something out of it by. Uh, you know, they, they, by becoming part of the, the whole thing. He became like, I don't know, he talked about something. I was inside of his house. Uh, he talked about something about discs, something like this, that he does something mailing, something like this. I don't know what, uh, but most likely, I don't see some people probably receive by mail. Some other people might receive this stuff by through the maybe cable TV or something like this satellite. I have no idea how they do it. Anyhow, the main thing, the, mo the most important here, the stuff I'm doing right now is the testimony of my neighbors, Bergers, they were here too. Uh, Donna Collins right across the street was here. He was very not pleased with these people. They were not pleased with seeing how they treat him because he is from Slovenia. And our people see other Slavic people like a brotherhood and want sort of, um, you know, acceptance, uh, welcome. Uh, these Berger people, no matter what, uh, it doesn't matter, they still are very uh, hospitable people when it comes to uh, human issues. They, they welcome politicians, they uh, they take care of them very well. Um, it wasn't a difficult thing for them. Uh, and the same th likewise goes just about for everybody over there in Slovenia. But with these people here, with these people was a little bit different. You see, this is, this is the street we're in. I want you to see this. This is what happens when you delete my stuff. When you get inside of my personal belongings at night and you delete the stuff, then this is what happens. You made yourself a favor. I didn't do it, you did it. And so these people were not pleased with them at all. Uh, and you can, you can imagine my situation. Um, his situation was that he was, he was, literally he was hosted by these people like in a way when you know, he's older than myself, I'm talking about the neighbor, they would take care of him. Whenever they would go to the city, they would they, he, he would give them a money and they would bring him uh, a soap, shampoo, a toothpaste, whatever it is, you know, for half a price of what is cost here and so on, um, which is significant help when you consider that it's about 10 kilometers away from here. Uh, the city where you where you get like a major store like Tesco whatever he would go there he would sleep on a sofa with this lady she would give him computer uh, all kinds of stuff food all kinds of stuff went on here uh, for him life was actually good here he did not even plan on coming back to Slovenia there were girls here he got to screw girls he had a really really good time and you're talking about the young beautiful girls so for him, life was really, really beautiful here. Um, for me, as far as myself, I'm going to just put everything on a table. Uh, I have used her laptop twice. One time I used it maybe for like four hours or something. And on another occasion, maybe for like, I don't know, maybe an hour, something like this. This is it. Uh, as far as food, I got... I got few sandwiches and I got... 
gem first time was good and then the same thing repeated as it did repeated with um with this uh boku that you give me this is like a pastry uh that she gave me that inside of her car on what sound in my head simply exploded and i did relate that to uh cirrhosis issues it is unless she had something inside of the car unless she had something inside of the car uh that thing must have been related to cirrhosis uh it's got to be something related to the high pressure blood pressure issues poisoning something because as soon as i ate that thing after i was sound free in my head it would just come back like you wouldn't believe it would just explode and nothing bad i didn't say to her i just mentioned her talking about the owner of the second house that i have pointed out of the two sisters uh she would go and she would continue to suggest me that i um she's not going to offer me food anymore it was like make me feel like she's giving me like food that she's feeding me or something like this this is not a case at all i never ever wanted from her food ever ever and she used me as a companion she repeatedly asked me to come to her place and i did uh it was not a difficult thing to do it was a welcome thing to do to meet with the polish people to see to greet polish people and to learn foremost about what the situation was with these people uh who they side with what's going on with this thing these people have a good friends in slovenia understand some kind of roman whatever um who also was here and they were very abusive people these slovenian people it was very difficult because i i, I understand that at the time uh i became a neo-nazi uh well i started to hate everything about eastern europe that's one thing for sure this is what i was tortured uh nothing pleasant really happened to me and even less good happened to me in slovenia so my views were like i didn't mind to spit these people in the face to tell you like this under mk ultra i didn't mind i didn't spear anybody of anything uh and so because these people had belief they have believed here they have believed that they have the right to torture you they have the right to torment you to subject you to the torture to the physical torture they have the right to do that um you should just take it shut up uh be compliant about it and i guess lick their feet or something like this this was just not the case with me and the more it was not the case with me the more the disappointing growth on both sides uh they had the episodes repeated episodes about the germans about everybody was a neo-nazi americans were neo-nazi i was a neo-nazi everybody nobody was good but the money was good so they had to have me they had to have this show going money was good mr zeman am i correct uh and so bergers also told me that i'm gonna have to look for antennas and this is true others have told me the same thing uh on some other house on some other building and there is the antenna here which uh, this antenna came up sometimes this came up sometimes in uh, you can you can definitely see it let's see this you see just on the corner what they did was they arranged everything through the cable they would pull the cable they had a cameras over there and they would pull the cable let's see that thing they would pull the cable uh not necessary to this house not necessary like this if this is even still the same antenna i remember that i was prompted big time at this house to take a video to take a picture of it that this is the one that this is the one this is the one this is what they have stated insisted on hope you can see that hope you
we can see it somehow. Um, Bergers, however, uh, suggested that I am going to have to go and look also and go through the neighborhood and look some other houses uh, to make sure that that would be the antenna. Here was the it was the show. It was with this antenna, with this about this stuff. They have made the whole show here about the antenna, where this thing is going to be transmitted and so on and so forth. I. Just want to make sure that you do see this thing here. Is it? Because you see, it's it's glaring. Everything is glary, and it's very difficult. Uh, I bet you did saw that antenna right there. Uh, look. Uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter if this is the antenna or is not the antenna. Uh, if this is the right antenna or is not the antenna. The bottom line here is that I'm not going to walk in the neighborhood and look for the antennas and stuff like this. This is the stuff I am not going to do. And again, I wouldn't demonstrate any of the stuff you see right now if the original video would not be deleted. But I just, now I do it. I don't mind this at all. But that it would be antenna like this and it would be used to transmit to what you have seen, I have posted. And it's located in the center of this Ostronia village, if you like. And those are those huge antennas right next to the library in Grotniki. And from there it would go to the world and some people would eventually obviously get this even by mail somehow, some way. It would be delivered to them through some channels, whichever way. This was the information I got thanks to uh, the gentleman. You see the house right here? These people, I'm not going to say they were involved in MK Ultra, but I was inside of that house and I remember how I was inside of that house. The other day they met me, but they just walked by, but I knew who they were. I look at it and I saw the street. It was right next to the one. And I recognized, I reminded myself of it. It's like this with these people here in Grotniki. Some pertain to Mafia that goes straight to the Warsaw. And this Warsaw goes straight to the Moscow. Uh, both of the sisters have... I'm not going to say Russian origin, but the lady... Yeah, it's just a... Just a pathological liar is what it is. That's why this, the whole thing, this is when it all ended, you know. Um, she comes from Belarus. They had the Russians here. Um, even the, even the husband of another sister, uh, his father came from, I don't know, Kaliningrad or something like that. There was a Polish that returned back to Poland and something like this. It was a common, it was a common case. But then again, he worked some kind of professor, something in, in, in a Soviet, when Poland was occupied by the Soviet Union, that he, whatever. Whatever you want to call this, I don't actually see these things as, you know, I don't actually see anything Polish in this thing. And I was told by the Polish people alone, not here, but just not too even far from here, in which area, that these people in Grotniki, these are not even Polish people, these are not even considered as a Polish people. I was told these people are like, how can I say, Warsaw. And I don't have a bad opinion about the Warsaw, but when I say Warsaw, this is also what I have heard from other parts of Poland, it's like, word for itself, it's like where the political elite is, Kaczynski elite, and they have completely their own views. Their views differ from views uh, which the rest of the Poland has big time. I would not want to place these people here on camera. Dzień dobry, cześć. Cześć. Ha <laughs> ha.
slično ga. Ja, ja, ja. Ne, dobro je, si zgod. Ja ljubim se. Dobro. Dziękujem, do widzenia. Dziękuję, do widzenia. Okay, these are also neighbors over there. Uh, I did the job for them. These are really nice people. Uh, uh, it's just it just happened so that uh, these people got nothing to do with it. It's, it just happened so that these people, these two houses, these people got everything to do with it. There is other people in this street that have nothing to do with it. Are nice people, very nice people. This is also a good good thing that I met these people right now. Uh, but these two houses, these two sisters. Now this is this is a completely totally different story. And it's totally related to the one over there in uh, a library. Basically, the same, the same system, the same, the same way. Um, hmm, how can I say? A patriotism, a radiation. Poisoning was explained to me in a way that I would benefit from as a, as within like political society uh, as per being like dedicated to the Poland, you know, to the Polish people. That would be seen like a patriotism if you keep your mouth shut, if you don't say anything, if you, if you simply take it and you accept this as some kind of challenge. Uh, you know, uh, and a lies, like she started to lie big time about a foot, about, you know, obviously she would not want to offer me um, a foot. And on every occasion I came, I have declined to accept foot. And she would keep repeating me, if you had this kind of sound, and now I am afraid uh, to give you any kind of food. Just once I have mentioned her, and then about the issue that I have experienced after eating uh, her pastry inside of the car. And it was not her pastry, it was from somebody, some friend that gave her. Now the question is, uh, well, you know, uh, it doesn't matter who gave her, where she got this thing. What matters is, basically more than anything, is who gave me that thing. That's one thing. I have spent money me on milk, yogurts and stuff like this to stop that sound which might stop because I might have been monitored with what I have consumed rather than you know having a conflict with um, with with the food even through like as I have explained it was it was poisoning because radiation you cannot escape no matter what you do and i was awake frequently like on a daily basis like at six o'clock like a watch you would put the the watch and like it it would start like at five o'clock something like this and at six o'clock uh, sound would be just blowing and you you would have no uh you will have no need for sleep anymore because you were radiated. There was no sleep anymore. There was no need for sleep anymore. It was time to go. It didn't matter whether you sleep four hours or you sleep six hours or whatever you got sleep. Uh, at six o'clock, uh, this was like a watch, basically, like this. Uh, this this happened every day. It just didn't happen like. Uh, almost every day except for the days that I was without the sound so how much of that stuff can be attributed to what I do not know I know they have used both and they have discussed both issues a lot and so when I when I did mention her for the first time that you know just friendly you say you know that I had this uh, this sound because she keep asking you know when uh, was it good is it good how is it is it good now she would just keep uh, repeating me the same thing, you know, the same thing, the same thing that uh, she's afraid not to offer me anything, afraid not to offer me anything. And I did not even mention her anything about anything. 
Uh, everything in between when she offered, almost everything in between, had the same result. I had this exploding, uh, intensifying sound whenever I ate at her place. But I was quiet, I was silent and determined to learn more about her whereabouts, what stuff, stuff she knows, does, and see exactly how far the patriotism, friendliness, in a parenthesis, of course, is going to bring me with these people. And it did bring me. It did bring me. I'm not going to say. I got two shirts from uh, from MK Ultra, uh, which I'm going to offer on eBay, uh, most likely on Amazon. But Amazon has got some kind of fee or something. Got to figure out that. I don't want to go into fees like this right now. Uh, I got reminded very well about what went on. Uh, it was details I got from these people. I'm not going to say it didn't bring me far. But I would really, really hate to mistake an abuse. Abuse with love. And I would hate to mistake in lies. Um, with love. Abuse with patriotism and um, lies with love. These are the things I possibly could not afford myself. So still, I was quiet about, and for the new year when I was invited, uh, husband of that uh, other sister, Ivona is her name, make a scene over there. He made an ugly scene and uh, it was about Kaczynski and he didn't like Kaczynski, he doesn't like Kaczynski. This is what he talked about, this is what they all talk about. And when I said about him, whatever I say on my news site, that's when basically he exploded and he ran out and so on and so forth. So he make a scene and they just wanted to see how they're going to do this stuff. The same thing was for the new year, whatever they offered, whatever was, whatever was in that foot. Um, these people know exactly what 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 does have effect on whatever I have, whatever they're doing. But all along I was quiet. I only mentioned once, and for mentioning once I was repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated every day, every time, whenever I would come uh, to visit this lady, whom I have cleaned the snow, whom I have done, never charged a dime. Never care for companionship, never care, never mind to go half an hour. I wanted to be friend, I wanted to see how far this friendship goes, what really can develop from that. And I really gave a chance to, to both options. I want to see what kind of love this thing can turn into, and I wanted to see what this abuse, radiation and poisoning actually can produce. And I did came to terms that these people have done absolutely everything possible to push me away from Poland. I came to terms that these people have done whatever was possible in their hands to make my stay, make my life impossible in Poland. Not pleasant or possible, but literally impossible. And they wanted to turn lies into something that could definitely cost me in the long run. You know, with a friends like this, you don't actually really need enemies. I think it would cost me, in the end, everything. And it would not only cost me everything, but it would also cost Polish people. Because this case does not belong to a special elite, to a specially designed society. Uh, but it, it is concerning the whole Poland. I am persevering in this thing. I am persevering in this whole thing because of the nation, of the Polish nation, because my idea is to empower the people of Poland and not some kind of mafia, a group of gangsters that claim to have exclusive rights, claim to have uh, like monopoly of my case inside of the Poland, claim that they can drive the whole thing, they only and nobody else, 
they can decide about everything. This is wrong. This is a mistake, and this is not one. Uh, this is not what's going to happen. Whatever was given to me, I have returned everything back, except for one uh, cap. That one I have not returned back. That one I have simply not returned back because I'm going to offer one on eBay. It was given to me as a gift. And the two sweaters, that's also something I have kept. Uh, and we'll sell that thing uh, for as much so I can get myself back stolen uh, razors for shaving. And that's something that I was also stupid enough to leave the hard drive over there. Uh, you know, it was so well designed. Whatever they did in this immigration center prompted me to bring these people here, store store stuff, personal stuff with them, and that was the, the costiest mistake possible. Uh, they screw me this tablet. Before I started to use one, I left one at that place right there for like a week or so. Uh, once I started to use one first, the only thing that would happen is the battery, when I would power this thing on, the battery would just go, it would just... Uh, it would just um, let me make sure. Okay, the waterfall here. The battery would just. Uh, it would just. This thing would just reset itself with bus with vibration. Bzz, 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 like this. It would do it, and it would deplete almost battery entirely. Uh, this was not done inside of the immigration center. Again, these people did have Russians here. Uh, this was done at this location here. An individual who really hated me was this uh, husband of this Ivona went as far as stealing me this uh, shaving blades and stuff like this. And so, in the world, in Slovenia, in America, whatever you are, whatever you give someone something, in Slovenia we say karjedani u črno zemljo zakopano, whatever is given is given, it's, it's gone. Uh, you don't give to regret, you don't give to, um, you know, to take back or even to steal, what the case was with this librarian here. Uh, she would give items and these items then would magically disappear either from the center and on one occasion also. This is how the Polish patriotism supposedly, I was told, works. Uh, she would give me a cap and uh, there was a Polish flag on that cap and uh, on the on a uniform uh, this uniform however it's an old uniform I have taken down that flag and placed one on a cap and was very happy beautiful to have that thing on uh, the next thing you go I go to Warsaw and I fall asleep that thing is stolen and it's exactly exactly was a repetition of MK Ultra scenarios. It, they don't mind to tell you. They don't mind to, to do the stuff like this to you under MK Ultra. So you say stuff like this, so they can say, oh, this is schizophrenia. In Warsaw, what they would do is, they would recreate the situation with the boxes. They, what they would do is, that somebody threw the boxes over there in Denbach. I'm just giving you as an example, so you will understand how that's done. It was in 2005, 2006, whatever. And every day they would bring me back to that location where those boxes were thrown. And the guy would go, he would take a photo, he would take a camera. He took a photo of that thing. Uh, and when I appeared at Denbach Immigration Center, the only thing they would do is they would recreate. They would go and they would place those boxes back right there. Now, if you go and you say stuff like this, it's called a schizophrenia. So, what you're watching right now, know that I know exactly what I'm talking about. There is a big difference between seeing something that doesn't exist, that didn't happen, and witnessing of MK Ultra uh, stuff like that. It's a big, it's a big ass difference. So, this was very well explained how this these things are done, why they tell you they're going to do the stuff like that, what they claim afterwards, and so on. And even I explain how these things are done. Let's just go back. Let's just go back to this librarian. I uh, hope I was. I, I get a little bit upset. These things are upsetting. These issues are upsetting. 
so I apologize. Um, whatever you give, it's not for you out there to, uh, you know, to steal, to to take back or even steal, uh, and so on. In this case, right now, before I left, I was actually asked to give uh, even the wallet back that was given to me, and so on and so forth, uh, which I have given. Uh, but then again, I told her that the cap, however, that's something I'm going to keep and I'm going to put one in bay exactly because of uh, what husband from her sister did. Still, they still here, big time in Poland, they still big time. Uh, the cap I have mentioned was stolen to me. Uh, and, uh, you know, ever since, yes, I was, I, I, I got attached to that cap. I wanted to establish my life here in Poland. Uh, I like that flag, Polish flag. And so I was really looking forward to buy myself another, uh, another, what you see right here in my hat. Uh, and I finally did. And unlike these people, I didn't steal. I clean roofs. I clean around the houses to purchase them things like this and I gave them and was just blast right now to get two of this back because I gave her a flag and what you see on my head so uh, that's thank you that's a thank you that's a plus um, whatever is given back you are allowed however to take but to steal the stuff like this uh, that is a no-no from librarian the same thing happened uh, they wanted you to see Abuse as love, as a form of love. She was involved in MK Ultra, was very unpleasant. Um, job, I'm not going to say I got through her. Uh, but uh, the lady who coincidentally come, her sister, inside of the library, uh, somehow got me employment with these two ladies. Not that they would know each other much. But, you know, it all happens like this, just like this, all by coincidence happens. And so I got the job, kind of through her, all through, this was the job for 100 euros altogether, job I'm talking about. That's all I got for cleaning several roofs and several houses, lawn and, and all kinds of stuff in how many houses which was a really good thing it was a good stuff but this was just the money that was used to buy exactly what you see here uh, and few things that were simply ripped off apart destroyed and so you see the more they destroyed over there inside of this center the more I needed help and Varsha, Warsaw did not spare me even with a trip to Warsaw they demanded me for me to buy a ticket to Warsaw for a hundred zloty, which is about 30 zloty more than what we get per month. They would not respond to my requests and they would even delay, del, uh, delay the payment for one month and three days. So I could go to this lady and ask her instead uh, for a hundred zloty credit. This is Warsaw. This is how Mr. Kaczynski, Mr. Duda does. Um, the librarian, hmm, you know, when you say you don't want to mistake in abuse for patriotism, and you want to mistake in uh, lies for love, I'm going to put it this way. She calculated every dime, and this is, this is what something that pissed off other people, and like I said, with them, they were good. My neighbor had a really good life here, good time. These people had a good time that were here before, before me. I didn't. I didn't get anything. I never slept in that home. I never did. The only thing I came there was basically to meet, uh, to give a companionship. Never got paid for. Uh, and was even told about a foot, repeatedly about the foot. Yeah, the second time, one more time she gave me this gem. I managed somehow to stop this sound in my head and buy myself a yogurt over there, milk, 
like crazy. I invested into this in Zgersh, 10 kilometer away from here. I would go to get myself that stuff. Uh, and guess what? I just one visit. She gave me the thing, three spoons of her germ, and it again exploded that thing. And so, because I dare to mention her in the evening, that of course the question was how the gem was and you know i'm not a person who lies i got no and i got no reason to lie to anybody and at the same time i don't have any right to hurt anybody in any way i told her well you know the thing is that the gem i have thrown one away i have thrown one away because after three spoons of that gem uh, in the evening and I really did not even eat anything inside of the center anything. I didn't have any sound anything uh, But as soon as I eat three spoons of that thing the sound simply exploded again uh, And so you know I threw one away and It was uh, well, why how could that be this and that and I told her most likely probably I said it might have been old it might have been old it had a taste like uh, It was old and so I threw one away um, It might have been that it was old I said or might have been that it had some kind of accident inside in fact It's exactly what I said to her she changed the whole story into my saying her Claiming that I that I stated to her that when she called me uh, that I told her that uh, if I ate uh, uh, that I told her that I don't eat all the jams and I threw one away because it was old stuff like that. So it's like very insensitive. Uh, first of all, I always have like three defense mechanisms unless I make a straight claim about something but before i make a straight claim i always 100 percent assure myself that's a fact number one i might not even say anything if things are wrong uh, i tend to find out about why before i even say anything mention i should say uh, now if i mention uh, then it's exactly what the case was here either uh, tell you that things are not good and then I will try to inquire information about you know ask this basically is asking it might have been when you suggest a multiple solution either exit or might have been old had a strange taste uh, it tasted like old uh, there's nothing bad there's nothing insulting about doing that kind of stuff really she turned this into again into the same issue she have turned previously uh, the first time the case was with uh, with her pastry that she offered me and started to insist that how she's afraid now and that she's not going to offer me and so on and so forth. So it's a very violent lady, disabled, uh, and more than anything a liar that is throwing you forward that she's like feeding you, that she's giving you food and now that she fears to say anything and you know, make you feel like you're some kind of an old man that complains about absolutely everything and stuff like that. So, uh, no, we, sh we shouldn't have a prejudice against old men either, uh, unless those are plain looking for the trouble, which sometimes the case is. But I just happen not to be the one, and she just happened to have a problem with her husband, whom, by the way, she would kill if she could. I remember under MK Ultra, this is a psychotic lady. This is a psy psychot. Is dreamed about, was pissed off beyond belief of what her husband did to her, how he divorced her, and this and that. Was grunchy about him and did not mind to even use the word skill. Uh, gave me a jacket, a blue jacket to wear. And I will not forget this. This was a jacket from her husband and Berger I remember asked her but but this was the husband from your jacket and you're gonna give him and she said yes because I hate my husband so you're talking about now completely different kind of uh, you know personality you're talking about a personality that's got serious mental issues 
issues such as seeing things that do not exist, lying, lying, being evil, and, you know, creating an example. Uh, because she was like, all it was about friendship with her, creating an example about people that are disabled as you know as as friendship and so on as how can i say i valued her i could not resent her for her mental issues based on her disability status i have forgiven her about having mental issues because she also was she also was evil. She was like, she was like, uh, she envied me. I mean, there's so many issues about she envied me about me being like this, standing up in a good shape and so on, while she had to be in a wheelchair, which is, it was like, you're going to have health issues too. Believe me, you're going to have like with anger like this, you're going to get too. You're going to, you're going to suffer. You're going to have, you're going to see. Like this it was. And this is the stuff still, you know, it shouldn't happen. I would not stick around the people like this. Um, how can I say? She enjoys a little comfort, leisure over there. Because she gets the assistance from the Warsaw. And because of the dirty stuff she does. But the thing about it is that... The thing about it is that... I never envied anybody who had the money in my lifetime. It's exactly the opposite. I think that people who had money had money for, for a good reason. There must be something about why these people have money. And if you just happen to work for them, if you just happen to have a chance to be around these people, uh, it's a good thing for you. Uh, you will go and you will profit from it. And you, uh, if you will do your work, uh, if you will be friendly, if you are not going to be envious, if you're going to be a normal person, eventually you have empl employment, you have a job, there's nothing really negative about it. And, you know, that comes the issue of friendship. Because she took the whole thing, like, on, in a parenthesis, friendship level. Uh, it doesn't only go for my quote, which you, you were able to see on a news site, that envy is a curse. It's a sin, and God hates people that are envious of other people. This is true. This is my quote, my personal quote. However, the envy not only about the finances, but the envy about the health of another person, that also is a curse, that also is a sin. Mrs. Bojana, you're on a wheelchair, but, you know, I never was envious of your wealth. I never was envious of anything of you. But why are you so unfriendly? Why are you so hateful? Why are you so envious of another person that is younger? You had your life. You had your things. And nobody did to you anything like you try to do with your gang here to me. Uh, there is no reason for that stuff to be like this. And with your conduct, with your behavior, you set especially bad case when it comes to friendship issues for the people that are disabled, for people that are... On wheelchairs, people that need friendship, compassion, companion, companionship on anybody in this world, and especially people, disabled people, or people that, because of their difficulties, can feel, can understand other people more than anybody else, because they can relate to you through their struggles, through their pain, through their issues. When you have completely failed, and you have misrepresented that part of the world community in a very, very negative light. And so when it comes to the friendship, when it comes to all these issues, I was left really with no other choice but to record this video here. Uh, do the stuff that I supposed to and distance myself from mixing issues such as, you know, friendship, uh, love, uh, and uh, with, with abuse and lying and so on. Those are the things that, you know, is just... And on the road, there's the stuff that you just have to distance yourself. And you don't want to become part of any of this stuff. And that's exactly what I did. This is, this is pretty much what I'm guilty of here. This was well explained. Uh, and there were other issues uh, with her.
uh, plenty other stuff, but probably this this here this was the most important. You probably understand what uh, most of you can expect from a relationship like this. What what exactly you get? So whatever the damage was done to me over there in this center, uh, I got replacement uh, over there uh, at a circle of the people that claim that kind of believe that they have they actually have like I don't know uh, beside that they have transmitted this garbage to America to this elites and so on for which they got very well paid through the VAR show um, you know that they have exclusive rights in respect to my case I was also told by Americans already back then that I will be tortured in Slovenia big time and stuff like this is going to happen in, a, in, in much in a way so that I would, you know, I would be more comfortable with settling things down in Poland doing whatever they're going to dictate me and so on and so forth. So this is, this is what Mr. Kaczynski is all about. This is what Mr. Dura is all about. This is what this is all about, but this definitely doesn't have absolutely anything to do with the Polish people. Like I said, Polish people have distanced themselves from this garbage. And on Monday when I was inquiring about information in part of the town, just before the Les Kraguevats, Americans told me this is go here and they're going to give you to you uh, these tapes and so on. And I was there, but you know, when I asked the people, people didn't want to know anything, it's okay, but when I was returning back, it was a man like this in the forest. This was the man, the same like the guy here in that street. He said to me like this, uh, when I was subjected to MK Ultra, 100% I'm going to give it to you. Uh, I'm going to give you the tape, I'm going to give you the proof. This was in 2005-2006. But I was brought back to Poland again, he met me, uh, he said, they have him meet me, because they observe these things, they watch, and they intimidate, and they also impersonate person, they go and they impersonate, they get impersonators, and they collect evidence like this, and they use people like librarian here, like, uh, like other people, like the guy that is that's another guy again that is in charge for this place here that they 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 literally lurk they literally get information out of the people and they confiscate the tapes and so on and so forth and then the threats come from Warsaw and it's pretty much like if you're going to give the information out anything if you're going to give any kind of information out the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to ruin your life your life in Poland is basically finished for you the gentleman, I don't know, what was it, maybe 2009, in 2009, 2010, I was, I didn't even have the right to go and rent with $45,000 in the pocket, place of my choice, uh, not in the U.S., uh, <laughs> slept inside of the car in Canada, uh, and the same thing happened over there in Scandinavia and Germany and so on, they wouldn't, they wouldn't give me a chance. And so occasionally from those hostels where it was, I disappeared and would find myself in another part of the world. Um, a gentleman said to me, sorry man, it's too late now, uh, my son has got a wife. The last time I saw him on Monday, he said, he's got a children. And I know exactly what that means. So this is the kind of monopoly we are talking about, but Poland is big, Poland is not only Grotniki, Poland is not only Ostronia, uh, Poland is bigger even than Lodz and Warsaw, even in, also in the Lodz, a lot of people, and also in other parts of the Poland, uh, are quite motivated to come up with this stuff, at least this was the case under MK Ultra. what the whole thing might develop too, I do not know really, but then the world is also bigger than Poland. And I kind of count that somehow, not the truth, the truth is out. This witnessing is not disputable in any way. 
I have 100% proofs about what happened. Uh, but I'd like to get the video, the audio recordings, and I do not want to get into fall into the moat where I was brainwashed. You know that you should just like the stuff they did, like they used impersonators to tell you when you see me, you come to me and you ask me, and I will give it to you the tape when you see me on the street and stuff like this. Not only this is a risky strategy designed to screw you up, but it also does have severe impact on uh, you know on your it does have a severe impact also on your um, trust on people this is probably the worst part about it because it makes you feel like we have subjected you here um, uh, to the torture and now you have to go and beg us for something that we should be apologizing for rather than you asking, begging for the stuff. Um, so, you know, I still count that there will be people who will come forward. There will be people that will rise to this and the truth is going to melt you down, Mr. Kaczynski. The truth eventually is going to come out. Now, today is the 6th and I was told to come inside of the office on a 7th eight to find out about my work permit even it was on a six that i applied for this uh immigration procedure and after six months august the six after six months you should be entitled to your uh permit to work now for this matter for this portion of the video they did anticipate i'm gonna go through cut through reveal the whole thing they have also gestured that if it would be inappropriate. Now we're talking about the right to work in Poland. I will, they would come up with some other scenarios such as mental issues and create a whole bunch of problems to me, transfer me to Warsaw, especially if I would dare to mention anything here about uh, Ostronia and so on. And the guy that I did not spoken, I didn't mention even his name, I don't want, is really pathetic. Uh, that just happens to be some kind of an only friend of this librarian here because this this people really believe they have like a monopoly like they like i remember when they talk about with americans so what about us what about us it was all about the money what about us what about us what about us uh what about us and it was and it was like oh oh well, are you oh, are you gonna be handling this you understand you understand you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be nice with them you're gonna do this you're gonna do that and if you're gonna be nice and so on and so forth then maybe they're gonna give you something then they're gonna give you approval or whatever so you got 15 percent on my battery and it was all kinds of bs uh they came up with uh like the whole idea was like they hold like exclusive right uh, about the whole thing and they will get the money they are entitled to it somehow they will collect the money no matter what oh my my perception about the whole thing is don't sit in your ass go and work like everybody else does try to do as much as i did in life to have something and you guys all have tremendously a lot for nothing this is the last thing i would want to go is spend or some kind of mafia from Eastern Europe uh, that have roots straight in Moscow. This is the last thing that ever is going to happen. And that's why the KGB was so so powerful here. They had these people here, this KGB people here. It was all about surrounded. These people here are related straight to the Russia. Like I said, both sisters are from Russia. Uh, from the Belarus Librarian the same thing I cleaned her basement it was like filthy the whole babysitted over there and Library was closed like for like two weeks more than that during my four five months stay here And this is the stuff I should mistaken for love because she borrowed me some kind of bike over there and gave me uh, a coffee mug and I don't know what so that's all there is to it.